Okay, so the first card is the turkey, so you might be dealing with somebody who's behaving very stupidly at the moment. You've got the caterpillar card as a basis that says things will always not be this way and a change is coming for you. So if you're stuck, it looks like there's some big change coming, a big transformation. Caterpillars uh, become butterflies, so something better coming in for you here. And you've got the archway over here, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths are opening up. So you've got the caterpillar, a big transformation coming on, and you've got the archway where you can see going through a new door, uh, so something brand new coming in for you, a new pathway opening up for you. So in the past, you've been dealing with an older woman, uh, she might have been very important, somebody maternal probably. And you've got the bird flying, so news is on the way. So you receive some news about this older woman. So going to the future, you've got weeping willow, some family sorrow, and you've got carrot, an opportunity or windfall. So, um, you know, there could be some news coming in. Maybe it's regards to this older woman. Uh, there seems to be some sort of family sorrow coming in and there's a carrot which says an opportunity or windfall so something coming in after this uh, bad news coming in for you so uh, you know something more positive coming in after that not a new opportunity so those are the energies for that week okay so uh, you're facing a situation where you might be dealing with opposition people are giving you a little bit of a grief you might be dealing with somebody that is causing a lot of problems for you so you've got the two of swords over here and you can see there's a argument of fighting going on over here and you having to defend yourself. So, uh, you know, you might be again up against some sort of competition and you might be trying to sort that out at this particular moment, some sort of disagreement happening. So what's happening with you? You've got the uh, um, high priestess over here and it's crossed by the knight of rods. So you're waiting for some sort of news about some uh, venture. This is, a, you know, usually a business venture, something coming that, you know, you've been planning or you've been doing and you've been working on it something that you've uh started some project that you've started that has flourished and you're waiting for some news about it you seem a bit anxious about it um you know the high priestess you can see here you know she's sitting alone very very stressed out of here somebody who um you know follows her own instincts but somebody who also relies on um you know, uh, the cycles of the moon. Uh, she's a very knowledgeable person, uh, tends to be uh, somebody who follows her own intuition. But you have started some sort of project over here because the Knight of Rods is crossing it uh, and it seems to have flourished quite a bit. Uh, you, you, know, you are watching all the, 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 the branches and they seem very, very abundant. So something that you have been working on, some project uh, that you've spent a lot of time, cultivated it, uh, and now uh, you're waiting for news about its success. So um, it looks like that is going to come in. That good news is coming in for you. Uh, so stop being so anxious about it. It seems like whatever you've been investing in is going to be paying off. In the last uh, year, you've been, um, you know, working pretty hard looking for the truth there's been people that have been helping you so somebody has been giving you information that has uh, allowed you to uh, make good decisions you've got the seven of uh, swords over here so a lot of truth has been revealed to you in this last year and it's allowed you to make uh, very important decisions in life so in the last few months you've got uh, the two of um um, wands over here. It looks like, you know, if you were going undergoing any illnesses, there's been recovery from it. You've also been working with a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people on a project. You can see a lot of people over here. The uh, mistletoe is the sign of healing, uh, but also uh, you, you can see, um, you know, you've been starting new projects and you've been working towards it, collaborating with a lot of people. And that seems to be taking off because this tree has now bloomed or blossomed or, or really uh, filled out. So what was really, um, you know, small project that you started seems to have grown into something really big, um, you know, and you've been, um, you, you know, you tended that project, you looked after that project, and it seems like it's grown into something really great at this particular moment. So you're thinking about starting something new, maybe you want a new job, uh, you want new money or some something to do with um, a new money coming in or a new project or a new job. Uh, that pays pretty well and that's what you have on your mind that's what you're going for so you want to try something new so going into the future you've got the tower card so something coming in some big energy coming in that's going to shift everything uh, it might cause a lot of destruction and a lot of chaos in your life because that's what the tower usually does uh, you know it changes all the energies around so that it gets you back on track uh, if you've deviated a little bit from track 
so we all come in with a divine plan. And uh, if we are not following that particular plan, uh, the tower card comes in or, or that energies of the tower come in to get us right back on track where we need to be. So it's no use saying, I didn't want to go down that route because the tower says, well, you made a plan before you came and this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring you back on track again. So some energy coming to shift you out of any kind of stagnant energies that you have been on and get you back on your life plan, on your life path, uh, you know, um, well, that's what I believe anyway. And I think that, uh, this is what happens. You know, it doesn't matter, uh, how it does it, but it will bring you back on track to, uh, go towards your divine plan. And that seems to be the energy that is coming in. It doesn't have to be a very destructive energy. It could just be something, uh, a bit of information. It could be just somebody giving you advice that will get you back. But it has such an impact that it takes you back, uh, away from that stagnant energy into something more productive. So you've got the sun card. Um, so it is an achievement card. So that is where you will be. Now the sun card is ruled by Leo and you will get back into your own power. There's going to be a lot of hard work, but you are going to be an achiever. So if you are stagnant now or you are following the wrong pathway and this is not what your life plan was supposed to be, then it looks like this tower is going to come and shift you into the uh, energies of the sun card where you will achieve everything that you want to achieve. So something coming in to bring you back on track and to get, you know, for your highest good. Because the sun card is so positive and it is also a very, um, you know, it's a card of prosperity, it's a card of achievement, it's a card of uh, international recognition. So that's what's going to be happening for you. Uh, but it also is a card that requires a lot of hard work. It talks about a lot of hard work needing to go into that situation. Now, people around you, uh, you know, are very, very supportive. You might have very good friends uh, where you have like almost soulmate connections. So these are the people are there that are going to be able to help you get through things. Now, this is... Um, um, could also display that, you know, maybe, um, you know, you have a, a very good friendships with people, but uh, also this could be display, you know, overindulging, uh, because you see this man is really fat and this man is really thin and they're drinking a lot. So, you know, watch out if you're overindulging during the season, you don't really want to do that. Make sure that you keep your, um, you know, sobriety and make sure that you have a, a clear head on your shoulder when you're doing things. Uh, but other than that, it could actually mean that, you know, you have forged really good friendships with people around you and, you know, they are there to support you if you need it. So what you're afraid of, you know, you're afraid that everything has just become very stale and very static, that you're working hard and achieving nothing. And, uh, you know, this seems to be, uh, you know, you, you have a hope of, of getting out of the situation. And maybe this is the reason why the tower card is coming in to actually shift this energy of stagnancy for you. So going to the future, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, you've got the Judgment card, and you've got the Four of Rods. Well, the Knight of Pentacles shows that, you know, you have to, you're working pretty hard. Uh, you're going you're gonna to have to work pretty hard to achieve whatever you want. The Knight is a very slow-moving Knight, but he achieves his material success. So whatever project you have, you're going to have to focus on it and work really diligently, and you've got to be very practically minded in whatever you're doing. So uh, no... Um, you know, high ideals about something. It has got to be on the ground practical. So you've got to be, and you've got to be putting in a lot of work and you've got to pay attention to a lot of detail uh, with whatever project you're doing. Then you've got the judgment card over here. So you are going to achieve whatever you want to, but it's going to cause uh, whatever comes along now with this tower card is going to um, produce, a, you know, a cause you to change your direction in life so you are moving in a different direction you can see the one boat the boat is moving in that direction and the horses um are flying in that direction it's it's almost as though with this judgment card you know your world becomes topsy-turvy because these horses have fishtails in it them and you know they, this man is flying through the sky with these horses um you know so you're going to be doing something that you haven't done before something out of your element uh but it's going to move you on to a new path and that is how you're going to achieve all the success that you want and the final card uh, is the Four of Rods. So there's an unexpected opportunity coming your way. So after all of this chaos comes along and you change direction, you're going to get a really good opportunity coming your way. You can see it's unexpected. Uh, and this is going to take you out of the seated position where you're sitting and doing, you know, where you're just stagnant and into uh, action. So uh, all of this 
a drama comes along to bring you this new opportunity that makes you very happy and moves you in the direction that you're supposed to. So you're going undergoing some sort of life transformation and a change in path, a change in direction, uh, but that's going to present you with an opportunity that you cannot refuse and it's going to be something that you really wanted. Um, so you are planning on changing jobs or getting a new job or, or changing directions. So now this tower card is going to be coming in and it's going to allow you to it brings in the judgment card that brings in the new opportunity. So that's the way the energies are moving. And finally, you know, with the sun card, there's an achievement as well. So it's all positive, even though it might appear to be very negative initially, but it actually is a very positive uh, group of energy that is, you know, set of energies that are coming your way. So you've got uh, the Princess of Winter, which is saying, uh, this is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. So some news coming in pretty quickly. You can see the seagull uh, flying in quite quickly uh, to give you it. So you could be getting an email. You could be getting some sort of correspondence that brings you this information that changes things around. And then you've got the Prince of Autumn, which says it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new um, endeavor. Once you have a plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get much accomplished as possible. So make sure that you're having a plan. Looks, it looks like a lot of money will come in, but you need to have a plan on how to achieve it. So make sure that you are very focused, very goal oriented, and you're planned to the hilt. Um, before you start doing anything. This is also an earth sign card. And with this uh, knight of pentacles, it is showing, you know, you really do need to have proper planning in place before you can achieve anything. Before you can move forward and overcome obstacles, a plan has to be in place. So you need to have it very clear in your mind about what you want to do. Then you've got the seven of autumn as the last card, which is the cow. And this is also talking about the planning and resources and efforts you invested in your dream will reap great rewards um, in the meantime have patience and meditate on your next steps so um, it seems like uh, the, the key thing in your life right now is to make detailed plans about what you want to do you can't wing it this is absolutely not the time to be winging it you need to actually be making proper practical plans and this is how the money is going to come in because both these cards are talking about planning in order for you to bring money in so you have all the resources available to you you have all the skills that you need you don't need to go and have any further training but what you need to do is have a good plan in place on how you're going to do it you know you have to actually ha have a detailed plan so sit down and write it out uh, write the pros and cons of whatever the situation is and make some kind of plan in order for you to move forward have a vision, have a carrot dangling in front of you so that you know exactly what you want to achieve. And this is the way you are going to be able to achieve whatever you want. So it seems like if you don't plan, that will be your downfall. So you do need to have a plan in place. And once you have a plan in place, you move forward, you undergo this great transformation and great achievement and new opportunities come your way.